This unique backyard is ready for a serious workout. Hey! I'm gonna bring some island flair to make this space perfect for grilling and chilling. We're also gonna be throwing in some lighting as well, so time to get to work. Well, spring is in the air, and uh, but the snow is still on the ground, but it's receding at a rapid pace. And when it does, it's going to reveal a pretty fantastic yard. We have all kinds of space, great size pie-shaped lot, all kinds of room heading into this back corner. But you'd have no idea from inside the house just how big this yard is. What you are seeing from inside the house are houses everywhere, just looming over the property. You've got an ugly pressure-treated fence sitting there in your face, not exactly something that's drawing you into the backyard. So my goal, design-wise, is to get you out that door with some sort of visual element and have you take a hard right out into this space where the sun is shining. So big-time focus on design here. Let's go see what they think. Gita and Turan have been stuck with an embarrassing empty backyard for seven years. They want a deck to entertain their large family, but with a separate relaxation area. We love to relax, but we can't relax in our backyard. We don't have anything that would draw us out there. So tell me a little bit about yourselves and uh, what you like to see happening in the backyard. We are from Trinidad. Oh, you're from Trinidad? So uh, back there, everybody relaxes. I hear it's very <laughs> relaxing in Trinidad. It's a, it's a very relaxing yeah. place. We've been stuck inside the house, even in the summer, because we have a bland backyard. So I like an area where we can barbecue, sit, have you know, meals outside and stuff like that. Okay. Maybe a nice bar. I would like to see some way I can come out, and especially summertime, to relax. OK. I would love to have a hammock there. That, that's one of the things we have back home. So the hammock idea I love. But the problem with the hammock, I think, back here right now is the fact that no matter where you are, you're kind of swinging on display yeah, I know. to all of these lovely people that are surrounding you. So that'll be a real key for me, to create some privacy for you guys in a way that doesn't feel like you just put up a whole bunch of walls to the neighbors. This has got to be an oasis that kind of represents back home. That's oh, right, yeah. yes. OK. Thank so you. I will show you guys my ideas. Hopefully, okay. you like them. Let's see if we can bring a little bit of the islands and some warmth yeah. <laughs> to this climate. That'll be nice. Oh, yeah. Straight out the back patio doors, I'm going to give them a spacious barbecue zone fit for a king blinged out with tons of counter space and storage. Just beside that is the main dining area. It's got a funky octagonal pergola complete with shade sails. And to accommodate their extended family, there's an adjoining dual purpose bar top and eating table. Off the corner of the house, I'm building an aerial structure for privacy, which will need some serious landscaping to tie it in with the rest of the deck. Finally, around the corner is their Shangri-La, a hammock zone enclosed in a matching octagonal pergola. Time to break the ice. All right, snow's melting away, weather's warming up. We have got some footings in place, some we're going to be setting today. And uh, when the holes were dug, it uh, brought out all this mud. I mean, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be digging out all the mud so we can make room for our framing. All our material is here. We're going to be getting to that. Look at the faces. Happy, happy builders. Because there's snow underneath, it kind of looks like a yummy cookie. <laughs> mm, cookies. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hit Kate in the head with a really hard cookie. Yep. Yeah. All right, all the nasty work is done, and uh, this is actually my favorite part of the project. We got our nice tall six by six posts in the air, so I'm excited, but uh, got a lot of framing to do. Let's get started. Kate and I are just fastening the ledger onto the foundation of the house. This is going to be the connection point between the deck and the house. Uh, we are using sleeve anchors. When it tightens, the end of it will expand, making it impossible for it to come off the house. Yep, solid. <laughs> <laughs> Bad day of framing at all. We got the uh, the shape of the deck. You can really see it now. Air is getting warmer and the uh, mud's getting a little more extreme. Uh, tomorrow we'll be moving on to getting these posts in place for the freestanding pergola, which is going to look pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, we're almost primed for deck.
right, we are trudging right along. We are getting ready to set our freestanding pergola posts in this mud pit. The frame is ready to go. Everything's ready. The decking is here, so we're going to be decking as well. And uh, yeah, just staying happy and positive. The sun at least is shining. About to set our six by six post in the ground for our freestanding pergola. So you got these cool new products out in the market now. This is one of them. It's a post sleeve protector. It just slides right over the end of your six by six posts. You tack that into place. Now there's no way that water's ever going to have any impact on this post. It'll last forever and ever and ever. Another thing that makes this job site really interesting, not only is it just saturated in mud, but if you stand here, it's just kind of cold and wet. But if you go past the plane of the house over here, that's when it gets like a little crazy. But no matter how like unhappy I might be right now, <laughs> they are just continually happy. <laughs> see how, see how serious hurricane. the wind is? Hold on, for people, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Kate and I are starting on the deck floor. We are going to be using a composite product, so this stuff is much better than wood because it's never going to rot, it's never going to split, and it's never going to fade. Oh, sorry, my hair's sticking out. Like Paul was saying something about copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> So we battled mud, we battled freezing cold wind, and uh, we prevailed. We have large posts in the air. There's going to be an awesome aerial structure here. The decking is going down. We're going to have this done before we leave today. But uh, things are moving along quite nicely, starting to get the eye lines away from all this and into all the other awesomeness that we're doing here. Oh, that's nice. Sun rays on my face. Yeah, but it's also really, really cold wind that's blowing in your face, too. So. It's a mixture of the two. <laughs> my face doesn't know how to feel right now. <laughs> Despite some brutal weather, the dirty work is done. Posts are in and framing is finished. Things are finally looking up. Oh, that's nice. We finally had our fill of the mud, so we've laid down some plywood so we can actually walk through the yard without getting our feet caked in mud. And it kind of looks like the Yellowwood Road. So we're working on pergolas today. We're going to be getting uh, those beams up lickety split. We're going to be working on the bar area, the barbecue area. And then uh, Mr. Sardi is showing up to discuss the mud. He's going to just take all this mess and just fix it. And I can't wait for that to get started. Hey, Paul. Chef. How's it going? Good, buddy. Uh, how do you like my yellow wood road? I love it. Pretty sweet, eh? Yeah, it's like the red carpet for landscapers. Yeah. So we got the deck, we got multiple levels, and you see I have this cascading staircase that's going all the way around it? Yes. That I want to drop down into some sort of walkway. OK. Help me. Uh, so a stone landing going around the cascading stairs, transitioning everyone around and kind of filtering everyone out to here. I think a nice big open patio in this area okay. could be a nice uh, yeah. a nice addition. Uh, these guys are from Trinidad. So, oh, okay. Okay. so yeah. I got uh, the idea is to put a hammock in this area. Got a cool aerial structure going on over the top, uh, but how to make everything else around it work. So in the hammock space, I'm thinking a really nice garden that will be going underneath the hammock. Nothing that will be growing too high because we don't want to interfere with the hammock, but something that will green it up and soften it. Right where we're standing is going to be a tall screen. OK. So trying to create a, as much privacy out here as possible. We can actually plant some hanging baskets, or uh, maybe even if we can channel in something along the top and actually have vines hanging down. So actually use the beam as a, as a planter itself. Yeah, basically kind of wrap, nice. wrap as much of the wood as we can um, okay. in some different plant material. I cannot wait for you to get started, because I am sick of walking around All right. the See you, dude. Sounds good. Right now, I'm cutting the six by sixes for our pergola structure. These are what we're going to use for the beams that go all the way around. 
I'm using the compound miter saw to make these cuts because they have to be cut on an angle and they have to be perfect so that all of our miter joints line up and they're seamless. So I'm using this instead of our eight and a quarter circular saw, which is what we'll use if we're just cutting off the tops and it can be a little bit rougher of a cut. Hey, Joey, can I have some of those beams now? Yeah, yeah, right, come right up. One. We are about to put up the beams for our pergola area, and it's amazing how the minute you put an aerial structure over your head, even if it's just as simple as the circular beam we're about to put up, what a difference it makes. Suddenly, this whole area, which is now open to the sky, is going to feel a lot more cozy. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby. All right, next pergola. I'm just going to try this. Well, 50% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, hey! Winner! Ah! Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the challenges of this project is the view of all the houses and backyards that's here. So one of the design features is having a planter box beam. And Jeff's going to come in and plant cascading vines and plants to help block the view. Got a nice sunny day. We got a lot of production done. We got the pergola beams up in place on both pergolas, and they're exactly the same height. And I'm excited about what Jeff's going to be doing in between to fill it all in. We're gonna have some shade sails here to protect us from the sun, which is really gonna add an extra element to this. That's gonna be happening later. We got the hutch coming in here. We got the barbecue tables. And uh, moving on from here, it's all about dressing it up. Uh, <laughs> bad idea. Does this have a natural flavor? Uh-huh. Okay. That's amazing. He's taking the whole thing in. What else can you take in? <laughs> amazing. <laughs> We've got pergola beams way up high and some cool aerial planter boxes, too. The chunky beams are ready to soak up the sun. It's all coming together. All right, we are flying right along. Jeff and the boys are here taking care of this nasty transition zone, which is now getting prettier by the moment. Gravel is down, but soon it'll be stone, which is going to make it really, really nice. Heidi's going to be showing up later on today. We're going to be discussing these areas with her. As far as we're concerned, we're working on pergolas. We're going to be playing with bamboo and putting them up in the air. Bar's been done. The bar tables have been done. We're also going to be throwing in some lighting as well. So time to get to work. So when you've been doing this as long as we have, you can actually use the palm of your hand as sandpaper. This would be an 80 grit, I think. This is like calloused, <laughs> ugly, coarse, <laughs> taking like layers of wood <laughs> off. Do you have cameraman hands that are nice and smooth? <laughs> So now that our base is nice and flat and smooth, we've been putting down our interlocking pavers here. We're actually putting down two different types, a uh, little bit different in texture, size, um, but all the same thickness. And it's really just to define having two different spaces. So we've changed up the laying pattern. We're going on one of these funky 45 degree angles. So it's going to complement Paul's deck, uh, but it's also really going to define this as its own space. So right now, the deck has a very contemporary flavor to it, but I'm also trying to incorporate some more natural accents. So the bamboo is a perfect texture to be able to use and super resilient. And I'm planning on incorporating this into screens and pergolas and post claddings. So it uh, also allows me to have a little bit of creative fun. Contemporary. Right. It's got a contemporary flavor to it, it right? Does this have a natural flavor? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> He's taking the whole thing in. <laughs> what else can you take in? <laughs> Oh, amazing! <laughs> Hi, guys! Hi! Hey. <laughs>
How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I'm great. Wow, look at this deck. This is awesome. What's this, bamboo? We got bamboo, and uh, we got a bit of a uh, kind of an island flavor happening here. The whole goal of this design is to kind of get the island away from these back houses here. Right. Just, you know, stretch all the way across and trying to take the island away and get people out into this area of the yard. What Jeff is doing here on the ground actually creates another room. Mm -hmm. The question is, what do we do with the spaces? This, we have a hammock, but the rest of the areas, I need to hear from you. Okay, well, I think it's pretty clear. You come out, you've got your barbecue area. You want to walk up into your dining area, you know? So let's make this okay. octagonal space a dining area. I can put in a nice round table okay, to perfect. suit that. We can seat maybe four to six people. Nice. You get to come down here. This will be your relaxing lounge area. Mm -hmm. The stone patio that Jeff is creating is a great transitional area. It's a thoroughfare over towards the hammock, but it's also large enough to create a wonderful lounge space. So I think we want to bring in some comfortable furniture and just make the spot where you want to hang out. I've created a little hutch here where the bar kind of protrudes from, okay. and I'm going to put some lights inside it, but I was hoping for some sort of Heidi magic in there, some sort of something to illuminate accent in that little space. Something a little pretty, something a little decorative, yeah. something that maybe reflects the personalities of the homeowner. Exactly. I can do that. You can do that? I can. You're going to surprise me with what it is, though, isn't it? I'm not going to tell you yeah. what it is. Turnabout is fair play. <laughs> Thank you, Heidi. Great to see you. See ya. So I finished putting the beams that connect the octagonal pergola with this beam structure over here. I've also put up a couple of channels that's gonna hold bamboo to create shade and also privacy from the second story windows looking down into the backyard. That looks awesome. I am loving it. <laughs> So the bamboo that we're working with on this project is an extremely hard material. So when we're cutting through it with our saw blade, kind of sounds like <laughs> something like that anyway. All right, really happy with the production today. I'm loving the pergola with the bamboo. I'm loving the post dressing. I'm loving the fact that now I have an idea what Heidi's going to do, so I know how to lay things out properly. And look, Jeff has done some fantastic work. As of right now, I'm one happy camper. Crazy final day, and uh, we've got bamboo up everywhere. Shade sails are in. All the post treatments are done. Soon, it's time for chilling. All right, you guys, come Hi. check out your new outdoor retreat. We've got the hammock zone in. Heidi's got a groovy lounge vision, and there are island touches everywhere. That looks awesome. This backyard oasis is taking shape. All right, crazy final day, and uh, it's feeling more and more like the islands around here already. So we've got bamboo up everywhere. It looks fantastic. Shade sails are in. All the post treatments are done. We got metal inserts, which is going to look really cool. We got a few more little trim pieces to do, and then soon it's time for chilling. Amazing outdoor art. Since this is such a harsh brick corner and it's kind of right in the middle of the entertaining space, uh, I want to soften that up so we have these awesome green screens. Uh, they're, it's basically just ivy that has been growing onto this welded wire mesh. They're not gonna get much taller, but they will fill out and really green up this corner of the house. The homeowners really wanted a hammock to remind them of their days back home in the islands. So I found this wonderful one in this neutral tone, which blends in with the whole rest of the deck beautifully. Now, one thing you want to watch out for when you're using neutral tones is to add a little visual interest. So this one has this great woven texture, which helps draw the eye in so it doesn't look boring or bland, and it just makes the whole deck feel so relaxing and calm. Well, if the goal of this project was to bring a little bit of laid-back Trinidad here, man, I feel so laid-back, I'm ready for a relaxing afternoon nap. We started with a yard that had absolutely zero privacy, and you had no idea how big it is. Now, we got all these outdoor rooms, we got a bar right outside the door, we have an awesome outdoor kitchen area, the dining area, Wonderful shade sails, provide some privacy. It just feels really cozy in here. And Jeff Sardi absolutely outdid himself. He took what was a dead zone and made it an amazing lounge area. Heidi, as per usual, brought the whole thing in together. But my favorite part of the whole project, the hammock pergola. This whole zone just screams relaxation. I would wager when they're out here now, they're not going to be thinking as much about Trinidad. Let's go find out. All right, you guys. 
Come Hi. check out your new outdoor retreat. Oh, my wow. goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow, this is amazing. A thousand times different. <laughs> <laughs> new barbecue zone? Yeah. There wasn't a whole lot of barbecuing happening out here before, no, it was wasn't. there? No, Oh, no. We could barbecue a, a whole big piece of shock in there. <laughs> <laughs> We got the metal artwork and the bamboo. It's what do you think beautiful. of that? Beautiful. It's beautiful. It feels so tropical with the bamboos. So we have the bar area here, which is a kind of a, an extra bit of seating area, and it yeah. really does work as a bar. But it's not your dining area because your dining area is in here. This is beautiful. This Honey is... did a great job here. Didn't she? Wow. Oh my goodness! Look at this. I know. I, I love it. Isn't that cool? Yes, it's beautiful. What do you think of the shade cells? I love the privacy. Doesn't it feel private? Yes. The whole goal is to create focal points to take your eye away from these houses. Now we have a backyard we could really, really use. It's beyond a deck. It's a yes. local fun. I love the artistic feel, especially the screens and stuff. My hammock! <laughs> oh my gosh! I love this. Isn't that awesome? Oh my god! That's the whole point. Oh my goodness! Oh my god, this is heaven. Isn't that good? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You look like a little kid in the swing. You're having a, you're having a great time. That's amazing. It's like an oasis. It's like a sanctuary for me to come after, you know, after long days, work, come here, just relax, unwind. I love it. That's my favorite part. <laughs> you got annuals that yes. are planted up in these upper box beams as well. Yeah. So the whole place is just going to fill out. It's going to feel like a, just like a tr it's going to feel like yes. a tropical forest back there. Oh, yeah. It's going to be nice. I love it. I think we don't need to go back to the Caribbean anymore. We have the we have the Caribbean right here. I am absolutely thrilled. You very very happy? Oh uh, yeah. Oh. Very very. I <laughs> <definitely> very darling. <laughs> okay. Well, you can't ask for a better reaction than that. To take a yard that was completely unused before and turn it into a personal Caribbean resort that reminds Tran and Guido of their Trinidadian home, that's more than fun. That's full scale awesome. Oh yeah. What's up? Oh. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, hell. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey. My arm came off. 